We talk about the transition to renewable energy as if it's a choice. The truth is, it's more than that. It's a path that leads to opportunity for all. As we work to end energy poverty by 2030, there are two routes we can take. One that maintains the status quo, and another that expands economic opportunity while addressing the climate crisis as a top priority. Some may say that's not realistic, or that you can't do both. Well, the data shows otherwise. Expanding access to clean, reliable electricity with decentralized renewable energy solutions is not just a dream for the future. These technologies are being used and implemented successfully today. The Rockefeller Foundation, Shell Foundation, and Catalyst Off-Grid Advisors research the social benefit, carbon saving, and investment opportunity from greater use of decentralized renewable energy to meet the needs of rural households and SMEs in Africa. The results are eye-opening. Here's what we found. Africa today is in an energy crisis. 548 million people do not have access to electricity. Of the power grids that do exist, two-thirds are unreliable. Instead, communities rely on backup generators to power lives and livelihoods. With unreliable electricity, 82% of people here have no choice but to burn solid fuels to cook food. That pollution contributes to 600,000 deaths each year from dirty household air and carbon dioxide emissions. If the world continues on the path of inaction, the situation in Africa in 2030 looks bleak. 31% of African households still will not have electricity. The number of polluting generators will grow to 9.6 million units. More than 230 million households will continue to cook with dangerous polluting fuels. But if we act now, the future looks much brighter. Using existing technology, reaching universal electricity by 2030 could look like this. With a massive scale up in decentralized renewable technology, we can see 100% of households in Africa with reliable electricity in less than 10 years. Reliable energy means retiring more than 9 million polluting backup generators. And while challenging, there is an opportunity to shift 39 million households off charcoal cooking to less carbon dioxide intensive fuels. Going down this path would cut global CO2 emissions by 626 million tons. That's like a year's worth of CO2 from 160 coal-fired power plants, 136 million American cars, or 933 million round-trip flights from New York City to London. This scenario is good for people, good for the environment, and it offers a $200 billion investment opportunity. With each investment, we get closer towards our goals for universal energy access and combating climate change. This push will drive inclusive growth in Africa to 2030 and beyond. The data is clear, and so is the choice. A low carbon path will lead to a safer planet with better opportunities for all. So what's next? That's where you come in. Global climate first investors and local governments are already accelerating progress towards universal electrification. Together, we must work to expand these partnerships. Together, we can end energy poverty while confronting the climate crisis. Together, we can make opportunity universal. <laughs>